William Calvin was a neurophysiologist at Harvard. Well, he was a, a, phys, a postdoctoral candidate in physics at um, Harvard. And the people in, neuro, in neurophysiology had just learned to stick a microelectrode into a single brain neuron. And they were getting this, they were amplified it on a hi fi recorder, this staticky, irregular sounding thing. So they came over to Calvin and to the physics department and got Calvin to help him figure out what this funny noise was. <laughs> what did it mean? This firing pattern. So Calvin came and actually became a medical doctor and a neurophysiologist studying neurons. And what he found is that one neuron by itself is very erratic. The more neurons you put together in the network, the more precise the network is. The timing, the more precise the timing is. And then uh, Arthur Ward, who was one of Wilder Penfield's students at McGill University, Wilder Penfield did the original brain mapping where they'd stimulate, but during surgery for epilepsy, they would stimulate the brain. And um, Penfield had, um, I mean, B B Arthur Ward was invited at the University of Washington to set up the neurosurgical unit to do surgery for Parkinson's and epilepsy. And the way they would do the surgery for epilepsy is they would open the skull and then during, they'd have to stimulate the brain to find language area so when they remove the area that was for the epileptic area they wouldn't take your language and your language isn't any in a, a specific part of your temporal lobe they had to actually s give you tests and stimulate it and sort out exactly where that was in order to do that surgery and they invited Calvin to come to help them refine their things because he knew so much about brain neurons well Calvin realized that the part of the brain that we use for language <coughs> is the part of the brain that we would use to pick up a rock and see a small animal in the distance and throw it and hit the target, okay? And so actually he was a practical guy. He would sneak up on a rabbit and about the closest you can get to a, a rabbit is four meters before he'll run away from you. Now, the farther you can throw at him, the more rabbits you could get if you were accurate. There's a real drive to be accurate at a distance. So actually what Calvin did is he looked at throwing this at four meters. Your arm goes through a arc and you have 11 one thousandths of a second time period to release your projectile. Okay? If you go out to eight meters, it goes down to 1.4 one thousandths of a second or 1.4 milliseconds. And if you used, I'm gonna be an ending giver and take back you. If you use 100 million neurons at four meters, you'd need 6,400 million neurons at eight meters. And this is very important because as you increase the difficulty level of a task, you must increase the number of brain neurons in the network. Okay? And this is one of the things that's very important in understanding the Learning Breakthrough Program. There are a lot of different programs that get into physical things and balance and do a lot of good, but um, the things that I have will give you tools to go farther than any other program that I know.